Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday. Sunday means DAX Sunday. And every Sunday we bring something new in DAX so that you get a chance to learn DAX. And in case you have any questions or concerns, you can let us know. In today's video, we are going to discuss about two relationship DAX functions that is, use relationship and cross filter. Both of these functions returns no value, but these are being used in the calculations where there is a requirement of the relationship in Power BI data model. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how you can utilize these two DEX functions. And in case you have any questions or you want us to make any more videos on any other topic in DEX, please let us know in the comment section. Enough all the talking. Let's get started. video we are going to discuss about two very important relationship DEX functions that is the use relationship and cross filter both of them returns no value but they are going to be used in a DEX calculations so there are many cases when we need to use a certain relationship from our model which is not the active relationship and in those scenarios both of these functions are going to be very helpful but before going further, I would like to introduce you with my data model. In this data model, you can see I have this reseller sales as my fact table. Then I have my employees, sales territory, product and the date table as my dimensional tables. In my date and resellers, there are two inactive relationships which are shown over here by dotted lines. While this solid line is the active relationship which is based on the date key and the order date key. Inactive relationship is also on the ship date key and the date key. So this is my model overall, which I'm going to use to demonstrate you both of these DAX functions. So let's get started. The very first is the use relationship, which is going to specify the relationship to be used in a specific calculation as the one that exists between column one and column two. This simply says that if you want to take the advantage of inactive relationship, for example, as I just showed you, my active relationship is based on order date and the date, column in the date. But rather than if I have to calculate the total sales or the total sales amount on the basis of ship date rather than the order date, then I can utilize this DEX function. So I'm going to demonstrate you a couple of minutes later how to do that. But let's go through the syntax first. Its syntax is quite simple. It's going to use the column 1 and column 2. The column 1 is the name of an existing column using standard DAX index and fully qualified that usually represents the many side of the relationship to be used. That means your column 1 should come from your fact table. And the column 2, it's gonna use the single side of the relationship. The column 2 is the name of an existing column using standard DAX syntax and fully qualified that usually represents the one side or lookup side of the relationship to be used so our dimensional tables are generally the one side of the relationship and the fact tables are the many side of the relationship if you are not aware about how to use when to use there is already a video regarding the data modeling in power bi which is a part of the da100 tutorial so you can go through that and you will get to know all the facts about the data modeling how to do that how to create star schema of the data model and how to use one to many relationship in that and also you should know that over here that all the filter propagations in power bi data model happens through our active relationship if you have inactive relationship then you cannot do the filtering between the different tables so for that we can use this use relationship to happen use relationship dex functions returns no value the functions only enables the indicated relationship for the duration of the calculation Now let's discuss about the cross filter. In case of the cross filter DEX function, which is going to specify the cross filtering direction to be used in a calculation for the relationship that exists between two columns. Basically, your cross filter DEX function replaces the use relationship DEX function and adds the third argument that provides the ability to modify the direction of propagation of the filter in a relationship. You can use the arguments like none, one way, 
or both where none means no cross filtering occurs along this relationship one means filters on the one or lookup side of the relationship and the both means filters on either side filter the other side so that's how it's going to work so cross filtering cross filtered x function has the syntax cross filter column one column two and your direction direction can be one none or both the column one over here is the name of an existing column using standard x and fully qualified that usually represents the many side of the relationship to be used and the column two is the name of an existing column using standard x syntax and fully qualified that usually represents the one side or lookup side of the relationship to be used you should always remember that dimensional tables are the tables which are at the one side of the relationship and those are the lookup side of the relationship So now let's start the demonstrate part of two functions. So the very first I'm going to use for the use relationship. I have already defined it. I have provided the syntax and all. And before going into that, let's check again my data model. Over here you will see the solid relationship is the active relationship over here, which is on the order date key. But rather than order date key, I want to use my sum on the base of my ship date or ship date key. So over here, the relationship is based on the ship date key rather than ship date. Both are actually the same. Now, let me come over here on my fields panel. I'll come to my reseller sales table and over here, I'm going to create a new measure. I'm going to give it a name as total sales ship date equal. Now from here, our DEX actually starts. So the very first we are going to use the calculate text function which is going to evaluate an expression in a context modified by the filters. So we can use as many as filters we want to use inside a calculate text function and we can use our expression to over here. So the very first we want to do we want to do the sum of sales amount which is coming from my reseller sales close it and now since I don't have any active relationship between the ship date key and the date key in the date table. So I need to use my use relationship dex function. Otherwise it won't calculate based on the ship date key. It's going to calculate on the basis of active relationship which is on the order date. And over here now we can define our very first the column which is in our fact table which is ship date key. Because it is on the many side of the relationship and now the lookup side which is the one sided that means my dimensional table which is my date table and over here my column is date key. Let me close this once more. That's all you need to do over here and now let me close this and just hit enter. Now my measure has been created so let me go in my visualization pane. Let me bring this card over here and let me use my measure which is my total sales by ship date drag it over here and now you can see that my total sales on the basis of ship date has been calculated so this is how we can utilize the use relationship dex function to create measures and dex calculations even when we have inactive relationship now let's talk about the cross filter because in cross filter we have already discussed what is its definition we can do the cross filtering on the one side or both etc and also if you will come over here you will notice over here the actually the relationship is based on the product key and it's one to many and it's not bi-directional so over here at the bottom you will notice there is a cross filter direction so this is we can set up over here and here we can say single both but there is no none option available over here so single means only your one table can filter another table that means your product table can filter reseller sales table However, if you want to filter your product table from the reseller sales table, it's not going to work because relationship is only one sided. If you want to apply that to that, you can do over here and you can say both and then you can click OK, but we are not going to use it. It's just to make you understand how it actually works. So let's come over here again and we are going to do this in our demo. For that, we need to create another measure. Before creating that measure, what we need to do, we need to check how our values are working over here. And for that, let me first take my year column from my date table. And you will see there's a year column over here or the year number. And let me bring this 
table visualization over here now what i want to do i want i want to calculate the number of products and my number of products in my product table so let me see my product key because each product key specifies a product so you notice over here the product key count of product key is coming same every time that means it's not being filtered ideally what is happening over here you will see date table and the reseller tables have a relationship but if we talk about reseller sales and the product table there is only single side cross filtering is there this, that means your product table can filter reseller sales but reseller sales cannot filter the product table one way is that if i am gonna do this to both it's gonna work so you will see now it's uh, both cross filter direction and you will see it's being filtered out but I really don't want to do that in my data model because it has performance impact uh, and this is the reason whenever I'm preparing any data model or I'm making any video for you guys I always insist do not use this bi-directional unless until you are damn sure that you are gonna need it what I'm gonna do over here I'm gonna make it again single click OK and the count of the product key i can create a measure and i can utilize the cross filtered x function to achieve the same and then there would be no performance impact and your model or your dex would be optimized so let me just go over here and create a new measure i'm gonna name it number of products let's say cross filter both just in order to make you understand that this measure is doing what and over here we can again come and use our dex function which is calculate whenever you need to work on the filters you have to always use the calculate and we can say count distinct is the distinct count function which is my product key so product key we need it from the product table so let's go there here is my product key this is gonna give me the distinct count of my product key and here i'll use my cross filter so again the very first value the column that you need to define that is that should come from your many side of the relationship that means your fact table so for that what i can do i can just define over here my relationship that i want that is my product key from my reseller sales table product key which is from my reseller sales table now another is from the one sided of the relationship that means from my product table which is my dimensional table so let me say again product key this from the product and now you have to define whether you want to use the both none or one way so we are going to use the both because over here we want our reseller sales table to filter my product table as well and that's all what you need to do and you can close this hit enter let me bring my newly created measure over here so now you can clearly see my last column over here number of products where i use my cross filter dex function and the count of product key where earlier there's no bi-directional or both cross filter directional relationship was there in order to if you really want to verify your result as well first of all you can see the total which is same otherwise one more thing you can do you can just come over here again and try to change your relationship from single to both click ok and you will see these two columns are exactly matching that means whatever dex function you have written over here that is giving you exactly the same value which is your required result so guys this was the demonstration for the relationship dex functions where we covered our cross filter and use relationship to very important dex functions if you want to learn to more dex function that is related and related table i have already created a video on that in my previous dex sunday videos and i'm gonna provide the link in the description sections please don't forget to go and check that so please stay tuned for more videos, subscribe our channel and like this video and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.